Okay, God just gave me a word suddenly. Um, I was looking at a very brief video of, and I'm pretty sure this is Hawaii, of the volcano ash going so hard, it looks like a river of fire. And I said out loud, this looks like a river of fire. What does this mean? And all of a sudden God spoke to me, and this is what he said. And as I started to type it up to share it, he just kept talking. So let me read it to you because I, I, didn't, I didn't have any plans of this happening. Isn't this a beautiful scene? Um, so I said, this is what I wrote. I'll just write what I wrote. I wanted to share a word God gave me as I saw the short video of a volcano lava running like a river with a strong current. I said, this is a river of fire. What does it mean? He said, this, is, this river of fire is in prophetic of the purifying that is taking place now on the earth. I am purifying and bringing down strongholds. I am refining and putting many of mine through the last purification to ready them for my kingdom. Soon says God, I am about to use those who have made it through the fire and the rain, trials and testings. Soon says God, you will shine like the diamond I made you to be, to shine out to all the world to see. And my glory shall shine out from your faces, and all shall know that you are mine. Many are called, but few are chosen. You, my bride, are chosen for such a time as this. Get ready, says God, for your marching orders. Get your house in order, not your worldly house, but your spiritual house. Soon, my love, soon, says the Lord your God. Now, as I began to write this out, he just kept talking because what he said to me was this is the purification that's going on. Now, a while ago when he showed me, I think I can't remember that. I think it was around April. He reminded me of a vision he gave me of a congregation and the fire was wall to wall and as high as like a tsunami just flying over them, just rolled over them from the back to the front over and over three times. And Zeb apparently had had a dream that night before about a whirlwind and there was fire in inside the whirlwind in streaks like almost like you're building like a wall and you got brick and then you got a piece of wood and then you got brick. This is what it was and she didn't understand it and she asked the Lord to show her. And she said, I knew that God will bring me somebody because she said she doesn't search it out and she doesn't tell anybody. I had no idea she had that dream. But that morning I had the vision and then I saw her word in caps, Zab. And I knew right away I was to tell her this is for her. And the fire was the falling of the Holy Spirit. And it's going to be moving like never before. Guys, it's already started. But this is just the beginning. Okay, I can't tell you you know, when the next one's falling, how many people would be touched. I can't tell you all that. I can only tell you what he shows me. And what he's telling me today, and this is just, it came up so sudden, I wasn't prepared to even go live with anything. Um, so I'll read it. But basically he's saying is that, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. Why is that? Because few take the call. It doesn't mean you won't be saved. Many of them will be saved but they won't make it in this final firing, this final uh, preparation for the bride that's going to be going out and being used and winning the last harvest. There's many that are saved, but they weren't ready. There's many that are saved, but they're lukewarm. Okay, I feel the Spirit of God all over me as I'm sharing this. So get your spiritual house in order. This is vitally important, vitally important, guys. Get your spiritual house in order. Submit yourself to God daily. Humble yourself to him daily. He's been pouring out gifts to a lot of his children. The, bride, the bridegroom, the father, always brings out gifts in the Jewish tradition before the wedding. Before all that's coming and happening, He's been giving gifts and he's going to be doing a lot of good things. But he said when he gave me that vision and when he said that time is now and I had to get a hold of Zeb, I said, the Lord just reminded me of your dream and my vision that happened within hours of each other. And he said that time is now. And she said, that's weird because he brought back that dream to me last night and I didn't know why. So he had me go tell her that time is now. We are in a new season. We are in a changing and a transformation that's coming about. Okay? So get your house in order because God's about to use us. 
and that time has already come down now where it's happening. But he told me when it when he showed me that I keep sorry I keep losing thought of what I wanted to say. When he showed me that I knew in my spirit that meant the weather will line up to the prophetic. So when he says there's going to be an outpouring. There's going to be a whirlwind. You can bet your bottom dollar there's going to be excessive winds coming. There's going to be possibly tornadoes, depending on what the prophetic word is. And when I saw that, I said, this looks like a river of fire. What does this mean? He right away spoke. This is the river of purification. The firing, the refining, many of you will notice you feel that. He is giving you the final firing and refining. For how long? I don't know. God is a God of mercy and grace, so he's working with you. And everybody is in their own time, okay? So he may be already done with you, but he's still working on another, okay? His timing is always perfect, but know this. When someone says, what the Lord showed me, he's at the door, he's got his hands on the knob, he is. But in his time frame, it's different than ours. His could mean, like when he told Aaron, um, I'm coming very soon, and he's going to start using us, the bride, the, those that have been prepped for this time to go out and do the harvest, that when people see you, they will know you're of God's. Okay, and um, he said very soon, but it's been a little over a year. Now his very soon and ours are two different things. Now he's telling her that now is that time. Are we looking at months? Are we looking at weeks? I don't know. But what I do know is an urgency in my heart and the words he's been giving to me, I kind of line them up together and kind of see a picture. We're getting close. Excuse me a moment. We're getting really close. So get yourselves prepared. Get your house in order, your spiritual house in order. In Jesus' name, I, I ask you to really take this serious. Time is running out. God bless.